Chris. It's another episode of Listen to the Vibes. We're doing a little bit different segment here, and uh, I am, of course, your host, Coyote, and I have my good friend, Rachel, with me. Hello, Rachel. Hey. So I'm saying we're doing a little bit different segment. We're going to be talking about things like relationships, um, like dealing with feminists and, you know, single people nowadays and how do you deal with these things with just everybody's so confused everything's all over the place but today we're going to keep it a little bit lighthearted, and i'm gonna try not to giggle when we talk about this but we're going to talk about the infamous dick pics Ooh! wow <laughs> so you know when i was a kid when you talked on the phone, you had this long wire and you were only, you could only go as far as the wire would stretch. Yeah. But then, you know, then before you know it, we had the, the portable phones around the house, but you could only go so far away. Now we have cell phones and it's a, a trend that seemed to take off when you could take pictures is everybody was sending rather revealing pictures of themselves to each other. And, now it's kind of gotten to be, I don't know, cliche, a joke. Um, I don't know how to describe it, but I, I do have a, a cool little story I want to share with you, but I'm going to let you kind of talk a little bit about your, I don't know, your experience, whether it be in your, because you are a therapist and a life coach. Yeah. I'm sure this subject has probably come up at one point or another. Just get your take on it. I, I like this subject. And I actually, I try to help men. Men don't always appreciate my help. I don't know why, but you know, I actually did a Twitter thread on this. I had 26 tweets on dick pics. And then I also did a LinkedIn post and I pared it down from 26 tweets to 15, you know, comments in my thread. And when I did this on Twitter, I got done with my last 26th tweet about this topic, and I literally, I had barely finished my tweets on this topic. It was a thread, and I got a dick pic. I got a DM, a direct message, oh, you know, and I was like, huh, I guess you didn't read my 26 tweets. <laughs> so I think, you know, I think it's a relevant topic. It is relevant for 2021. Right, right. Well, I say when we first started taking pictures and things with our cell phones and, you know, we were able to send it to somebody, you know, it kind of was that it was exciting at the time. And yeah. I mean, I know most people, not all, but a lot of people that are, as I say, younger, um, they, they got into it. So, so um, they, I don't think younger. I think that every man is sending these most so you got the 50 year olds and you know yes i, I actually the majority are on the dating apps yes i think that many most are sending them yes so that's why it's a relevant topic well i mean you you've got those guys that are married that you know want to cheat on their wives that are probably doing it which i think it's stupid because you you've just left evidence that you were cheating uh, but yeah. you know, you've got the dating world and I mean, let's face it. You do have the older guys that are probably doing it because of the digital age we're in. Yeah. You know, honestly, I don't know why they're doing it. I, I know that they are. And, you know, I did a stories podcast episode. It's number 18 with a private investigator. And this was on predatory women and the, a private investigator, he said in the podcast episode, you know, hey, when something happens and there's a predatory woman and she targets a man, you know, if it's an average guy, like it's very unfortunate. And these are serious scenarios, predatory women where they try to take your children, your money and put you in jail. You know, these are not minor things. These are predatory women. But he said in that episode that, look, you know, you got your average guy and we have two stories in that predatory women podcast episode and neither of them were well known, you know, not famous, didn't have, you know, a ton of money. But he said in the episode, look, you know, if that person had been high profile, he would have been in trouble. So this is a private investigator, a man, 
who has been doing this a long time and knows predatory women, and that's his advice to men. And I would piggyback on that. And so, you know, when you have the dick pics, I would say this, if you are a man and you have money or you are high profile, I wouldn't do it. Because even if someone tries to frame you or predatory women, or even if you never get to that level, it doesn't matter. You just by the fact that your company hears about it or the shareholders or it gets out or the woman, she doesn't need to extort you. She can send it to the tabloids and also get money. So I think for men, the more money you have, the more high profile you are, you got to be careful. And then for the average guys, you have no money and you are not high, high profile. I would say you also need to be careful because you are at risk for being shamed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By women. They could do some interesting stuff with this. So the guy on your show was a private dick, huh? So the stories podcast episode, uh, that was a private investigator. And so he helped protect men. Yeah. I a private good. dick. <laughs> good guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I have bad dad jokes. I know. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely be careful if your last name is Wiener. Mm. And you know, men, they think this won't happen to me. Everybody does it. But I'll say, you know what? You know, think of some high profile people that have been in the news and Google their name and dick pic and you think it can't happen to you, they thought that too. Yeah, that's what I was saying, especially if your last name's Wiener, Anthony Wiener. I mean, the guy was a politician and now what well, his career's over because he did something stupid like that. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any feedback from your guy friends? You know, what do they think about this topic? Yeah, you know what? I'm surprised. I, I, I sent this question out to several of my buddies. Yeah. I got a lot of different answers. Ooh. Now, I will say the majority of them were pretty much, uh, it's not a good idea. Mm. Um, I did have a few that said, hey, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Turnabout's fair play. Um, I think the most interesting answer that I got and probably the most heartfelt and I'm not going to re reveal anybody's names. I'm, I'm just going to tell you their stories. Um, one guy said, okay, it's, I don't see it being a problem, but what is the relationship like? Are mm. these two people in love? Because people, they throw that word love around too easily mm. nowadays. And are you really in love or is this just an infatuation? Um, because when you're, when you just have an infatuation, you just want to sleep with somebody, then you're, you're throwing dirt all over that word love. So make sure it's something that you mutually, you know, it's kind of that your spouse and you just want to yeah. maybe spice things up before you come home from work, you know, uh, mm -hmm. have that, that, intimate evening that maybe you haven't had in a while. That's one thing. But when you're just doing it just to get a response or it's, it's kind of, it's, it's not a good idea. Mm, yeah. So, you know, there's two things going on. Mm -hmm. People who are in a relationship, whatever they want to do, like carte blanche, you know, that's, that is their relationship and they know each other. I am referring more to be careful, men, be careful when you don't know someone well. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to throw out an idea and I know it's going to sound, you know, far out there, but I would say that if you want to know, like, how should I, how should I know if it's okay? Like if it's safe to do this, I would say, if you feel comfortable giving this woman your credit card, I think that you know her well enough to give her like a picture because then you're in a relationship or you know her or you trust her. And here's the thing, like I've had credit card fraud all the time. Everyone does, you know, I have, so, you know, I get an alert and they're like, your credit card's being used in Mexico. So this happens, it is common and you, it's dangerous. It's not something that you want, but it's easily fixable. You got your picture in the hands of the wrong woman, a predatory woman or a just 
vengeful, vengeful woman, you know, a woman scorned, that's not a pretty sight. And, you know, you can be publicly humiliated. You are in big trouble. And so I would say it sounds, that sounds a little interesting, but you know, I'm not saying like a husband and wife, they have a joint bank account. I mean, women, you casually know you're casually dating. And if in your mind, you're like, well, you know, if she, if she was like, Hey, I, I want to buy a gift or Hey, I, or you tell her like, Hey, get something for yourself. I'll give you my credit card. Just order something. If you feel like you would feel comfortable in your mind, I'm not saying you have to give women your credit card. I don't think that really happens, but I think that if the you jokes know, on them, yeah. <laughs> Like, hey, I would trust this woman with my credit card to buy something, either for me or to order something that she needs. If I trust this woman with my credit card, I could trust her with a sensitive picture. And that's what I do. So it doesn't have to be your wife or your fiance, your girlfriend, but in your mind, you're like, hey, do I like this woman? Do I think that she's trustworthy? Do I know her well enough that I give my credit card? Because honestly, you swipe your credit card a dozen times a day and it can often get fraudulently taken. So honestly, the credit card, it's not that it's, it's not that deep. It, and you should be a barometer that if you don't want to give that woman your credit card, like, why are you sending her a picture? Is she trustworthy? Well, yeah. Uh, my thing is, okay. So you get into a relationship with someone, you don't know what it's going to be like a few years from now, or even a few months from now, that kind of thing. Um, you think that you found the person that you're in love with and two, three months from now, they're off with somebody else. So look, you've put yourself out there and you've also, like you said, you've left yourself open to be maybe blackmailed or, you know, shamed in some way. Yes. You know, this, the thing about shame is that a lot of men will be like, look, I'm not whole pro high profile. I don't have a lot of money, so I'm good. So they can't relate to that piece that I'm warning men, be careful. But the piece that all men care about is being shaped. And I saw this happen in live time. There was a influencer on Twitter. She was very popular and she had a lot of followers. And so she had a man who disrespected her. She didn't appreciate it. She screenshot this DM. It wasn't the picture, but it was the screenshot. And she put it out to her followers. Let's just say it's 100,000, okay? So all the women rushed to her defense, including myself, because women will protect their own. They really will. And they relate to this. So, you know, you got to be careful this piece about the shame. Maybe you don't care about, you're like, I don't own a company. Like, I'm not going to be, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. But what can happen, and this happens a lot, just Google dick pic women shaming men. And you'll have a story of a model who, when she gets these dick pics, because she's a model, so she'll get this. She will literally find the man, it's not that hard, it's the internet, and she will send the dick pic to that person's wife or girlfriend and be like, look, just as a woman, I don't approve of this and I want you to know what your man is doing. And you can lose your relationship, you can get in trouble with your wife, or even if you're you know, single, you do this, you don't know if you know, you're gonna end up on Twitter, your DM is on Twitter and you're being mocked, mocked by women. So that is something that even the average guy, you know, this can happen to you. I saw it happen live. Well, I don't think it's a good idea to send something that you, you're not in a relationship with somebody with. That's, that's just stupid. And it's, it's, it is rude. I mean, I'm sorry. You, we, us regular guys. We don't, we don't like people like that because they're, mm. they're perverts. If they're able to do something like that, then what else are they capable of doing? Yeah. Well, I like my, that you're- My take. Yes. I appreciate that. I like that you're the state of Texas because the state of Texas is the state that has made unsolicited dick pics a misdemeanor. So say you want to go for a, a job for which it requires a background check, or you want to be a police officer, or you want to do military, anything for which they're going to do a background check. You know, you have to be careful. You don't want to be, you know, young and 19 and just screwing around and doing some stupid stuff, because what if later this affects your career choices? Mm -hmm. And so it is a misdemeanor in the state of Texas. And I think that because it's 2021 and this has become an increasingly big problem, the unsolicited, 
you know, people will be on a train and they'll airdrop to strangers. You know, it's gotten very, very bad for women. And so when women start getting very angry about this and feeling violated and her sexually harassed, you know, sometimes they try to shame men, sometimes they try to report it. But now you have a state like Texas who's saying it's the law. Mm -hmm. So whichever state you're in, you need to know the law and know that there might be laws coming because New York also tried to implement laws. And so, you know, who knows? Texas is leading the way and I hope that all the states follow. So you just be aware, know what your state laws are. Well, what difference is it from say some stranger walking up to somebody in parking lot and just opening up their right and decent I mean, it's you can get arrested yeah yes i mean yes. Don't, don't get me wrong okay my younger days i don't lie i mean i, I participated but i also had women sending me pictures yeah. i was i was young I, I i thought this was cool you know it's, hey she's sending me pictures of her i'll send her pictures of me but then of course maturity kicks in a few years later and like you know what if they're doing that to me that easily, then surely they're sending those pictures to somebody else that easily. So <clears throat> I'm going to tell you a little story about me. As you know, um, I've been, today is actually my fifth year anniversary. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So I, I, I met my now wife a little over six years ago and we had been talking back and forth, mostly texting and emailing that kind of thing and we still hadn't gone on a date yet but um i i wanted to see what kind of woman she was you know so i asked her or rather i'll i'll say i i sent a statement saying hey i'm gonna send you a dick pic and i didn't get a response and i could just i could just see the wheels turning in her head what in the hell have i gotten myself into so i sent her a picture of Richard Nixon. <laughs> oh, that's clever. I love it. I love it. But so you differentiated your side <laughs> from all the other guys. You're a little different. Hey, it's a dick pic, right? Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I, I guess what impressed me about her is she didn't s start sending me nude photos of herself and that kind of thing. And I mean, we're, we've been married for five years. So we, we really still don't do that. Um, yeah we don't want that getting out to other people. We should, what we share, we share in our own bedroom, not with other people. You know, I don't want to take that chance. When what if somebody stole my phone and I've got pictures of her or, or myself or vice versa? What if it was her phone? I, yeah. I just, I mean, personally, I just think that that's a trend that should be gone. Let's just, just get rid of that right now. Yeah. It's just me. It's just me. Yeah. So, you know, what I like about your story is that you showed your future wife that you're a different kind of guy. And so right now in 2021, I'll tell you, probably all the men on the dating apps, the young ones, the old ones, you know, all of them, they're all sending these pictures. It's just what people are doing right now. And it's very common. And so when I did my posts on this on Twitter and LinkedIn, what I try to say is I was like, hey, you know, men, everyone is doing this. When you send a dick pic, you're like everybody else because everybody's doing it. So how special are you? Mm -hmm. And so I equated to it like there's a lot of Hondas out there. And I had a Honda myself, my last car, like no big deal. You know, that was my, it's, it's okay car. So, you know, it's common. And then, you know, my friend, he has a couple Lamborghinis a Lamborghini is not common. It's a cut above. It is elite. It's a little bit different. And so if you're the man who doesn't do this stuff, you may have your own reasons. You may have money or high profile and you don't want to risk it. You know, you may have had a bad experience where you know someone who is publicly shamed. Who knows? But you could also have your own reasons where you just want to be different, not like all the other men. Because they are. All these men, they're sending pictures before you meet someone. Sometimes it's the opener, you know, on Instagram, the models or, you know, even just other women, not models. They get these before you meet and you are not special. You're not special. You're like every other man. They all send them. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that, you know, men don't understand about women is I have a lot of guy friends and I am constantly amazed that men 
actually do not understand how women think. And, you know, for your guy friends, do you think that they are of the opinion that dick pics are popular, that women like them? You know, I, I think that really and truly, at least in my circle, uh, I can't speak for other guys. In my circle, most everybody would tell you that women probably don't care for that kind of thing. Mm, just just so by you, the answers that I got. Smart. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. My guy friends, you know, I have a lot of also smart guy friends, but I also have guy friends who will say to my face, be like, no, Rachel, you're wrong. I sex, I send dick pics and the women love them. And, you know, for myself, you know, I just know in my head that uh, actually those women are lying to you and they're laughing at you in their head. So now again, there are a lot of types of individuals some women are more visual and maybe one out of ten women they're into that so i'm not saying that there aren't any but nine of the ten women they're not into it it's not that impressive so what men don't understand about women is that men and again not all men but men are more visual they like pictures so they think that because they like pictures the woman will like a picture women are more language oriented. And so, you know, it just doesn't have the same effect that the man thinks it does. Well, this is my opinion on it. I think a lot of it has to do with a person's uh, maturity level. Mm. Um, also, do they think they should do it because they think everybody's doing it? Because, uh, you know, I, I'd been out of the dating scene for years. And when I finally started getting out there, I would just come right out and tell them, look, I don't know how, what's expected of me. Yeah. You know, when when I was 18 to 20 years old, it was you just the goal was to get somebody in bed the first date. But I mean, that was also, you know, the 80s. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just think that everybody has a different way of thinking about it. And maybe the person that you've met is into the same things you are. And yeah. Y'all are into that kind of thing. And I don't, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. I'm just saying what's, what's right for me and for the people that I have talked to. Yeah. Well, you know, I have a funny story. One of my guy friends, he told me this and I was like, oh my gosh, why did you do that? You know, but uh, he was dating a woman casually, was, you know, not an exclusive relationship. And he decided he had enough. Like he just, he didn't want to date her anymore. So to make sure he ended it and it was definitive, he texted, do not ever contact me again. And then he sent a dick pic. So it's like men, even realize that, look, you know, if you really want to make your point and women don't like this, this is what you do. So I don't know why it's such a hard concept for men to realize, like, you know, you know, this is not, this is not smart or, and again, what you do with your partner who you care about and you trust with your credit card, do what you want, mm -hmm. believe her, but everyone else be careful and men do not understand women that nine times out of 10, it's just not that impressive. And the other thing too is, you know, you want to be the guy that the women are glowing about and excited about. And so very rarely, I don't know if this ever happens, do women send around dick pics other than to make fun of these men? But they never tell their sister, their girlfriends, oh my gosh, look at this picture. They don't do that. The pictures that they send are the ones where they're clothed or, you know, looking successful or confident or cute. And so the women break and are excited about those pictures. And then the dick pics, you know, the only time that's going on a group thread with girlfriends is if you're making fun of that man. Right. I don't think men like to be made fun of. No. And that's not necessarily a feminist position. That's just women in general, right? 
Well, so what I'm saying is that I think it would be very rare for a woman to tell another woman, you got to check out this picture. This is an amazing picture. If they did for a dick pic, it'd be more about gossip or making fun of it or whatever. If they're excited about the man and they want to tell their girlfriend or their sister, I'm excited about this man and oh my gosh, check out this picture. It would not be that picture. It'd be a picture with him wearing clothes, you know, because they want to share. And, and so you, I'm telling the men, you want to be the man that women are excited about and want to show off. And the dick pic pictures, they're not the ones that women show off to their girlfriends because that's not what gets women off. Women are not excited about those pictures. And to be honest, most men, when they take pictures, they don't do a good job. You know, if they don't know lighting and angles and filters and <laughs> Honestly, most of these dick pics are, are not cute. They're not good. So only a woman who loves you would appreciate this. And so, you know, uh, men just do not understand how women think. Women want to be proud of you. They want to show you off. They want to be excited. And I just don't think it's the dick pic that they're passing around when they're truly excited about a man. I doubt I it. I, I have to agree. No, with women, you. they know that. Why would I show this to my girlfriend? She'll make fun of it or she won't. She just won't care. Yeah. Well, there's look at that. If you break up or something bad happens and they've got something to use against you. So don't send them. You go. I, that's the thing. You break up and you treat her poorly or she thinks you treated her poorly. A woman's scorn is a very dangerous thing. And yeah, that's when she's probably making fun of you and passing around your pictures. You know, not, not, you don't want to be in that camp. You don't, you know, even if you don't know about it, no man likes to be made fun of and shamed. Right. Yeah. Well, we all have our self-esteem problems and if especially when you're talking about a man's private parts then you can put a guy down real quick talking about that so. yeah it's devastating and you know the other thing that men don't understand because i have my guy friends and i and i do I, you know i have you know a man will say to me rachel you're wrong women love my dick pics i've been doing this forever and I, you know they love it so the thing that men don't understand about women is that you cannot rely on what a woman says to you and believe her and trust you, trust her. If you're sleeping with her, dating her, she's your casual relationship, your girlfriend, your fiance, your wife. Why would any woman on the planet, if she had any brain cells, say to a man she is sleeping with or dating or married to, uh, actually, you know, compared to the other men, it's not that impressive. Or actually, it's quite small. Or actually, like, yeah, I'm not satisfied. My other boyfriend was better. Like, no woman is going to say this to your face. Mm -hmm. And even if you ask your cousin, your platonic friend who's a girl, even myself, I would probably never even tell my guy friends anything negative because women, even if they're not sleeping with you, so they want something from you, so they're motivated not to, you know, hurt your feelings. Even women who don't want anything from you sexually, women are very kind hearted and they try very hard not to hurt someone's feelings. And they know that there's no more sacrosanct topic than this. So even if it was like just my cousin or my guy friend, you know, platonic, I probably still would never say anything negative. Mm -hmm. It's just cruel and rude. Like there's no need for that. So that is why, you know, when my guy friend says to my face, Rachel, you're wrong. I, you know, you know, he's going off the things that women tell him, but these are his dates. These are women he's dating. So therefore, you know, how can you really, believe this as truth. If you give me that same woman, I'll be like, hey, are these pictures, is this your thing? Again, maybe one out of 10 is visual. They're into that. The other nine, not so much. They will tell me that and they will never tell the man that. So that is why, you know, I say I may be the only honest woman that you know, because when a woman wants something from you, sleep with you, attention, flirting, a ring, be married, be your girlfriend, whatever. If she wants something from you, there's nothing wrong with that. But why would any woman on the planet be rude to a man on this subject? Right. Oh, I hear you. 
So therefore, you know, I, you know, to my guy friend, I just very respectfully say, you know, that's his opinion. Okay. I just very respectfully say, if you do not have a vagina, do not tell me how women think. There you go. Very well said. Well, we could talk on the subject, I guess, a lot longer than I thought we would. Yes. But uh, we will definitely have stuff in the future where we could talk about sub such subjects. Uh, yes. Maybe maybe we won't get into the dick pics again. But uh, I, Yeah, I think we covered it. And, I, you know, I would just like to say one last thing. So I would just like to say I have boys myself, my sons. And I have a lot of guy friends and I love men. And so I didn't do these posts on dick pics to be mean to men. I just know that a lot of men have never had anybody say this to them. They just do what the world says, what everybody is doing. And a lot of men truly just do not understand how women think. Yeah. So I actually care about men and I want them to be successful and I want them to be the Lamborghinis. There you go. That's kind of why we're doing this is we want people to number one, think about these things, you know, be a little more mature about it. And uh, we want people to be successful. We're trying to open up a conversation so we can come to a solution instead of, you know, it seems to be a war against a certain faction of women against a certain faction of men when nobody wants to sit down and really have a true conversation. So we're going to try to explore that. Maybe we can give you the right answers, I hope. Yeah. We're gonna try, but we, I wanna fun. thank you. Just something to think about, you know, just a new way of thinking about something. There you go. Well, thank you, Rachel. I appreciate that. Thank you, Kyle, it was fun, thank you. All right, until the next one. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe because it's only through your support that we're able to continue doing the things that we do. And until the next one, have a great, great day.